Hey space fans, with me today is Dr. Paul Sutter, astrophysicist extraordinaire. Ooh, I like the extraordinaire. <laughs> That's right. I like that. How did scientists like yourself detect this difference? So that they, they know that from observing gravitational influences that yes. there's more matter than we can see. To figure out the existence of dark energy, we're actually studying a distant supernova in a very specific kind of supernova called type 1a supernova that have a very uniform brightness. So when one of these stars go off, when one of these stars explode, they explode with about the same amount of brightness no matter where they are in the universe. So we call these standard candles. They're like little lighthouses. Like you know, you know how bright that supernova ought to be and you can compare it to how far it is and how bright it appears to be given its distance and you can map out the history of the expansion of the universe. And this is how we discovered, it turns out that distant supernova are dimmer than we expect them to be. And the only conclusion, that was, that was just the start of it, yeah. since then there's been many other lines of evidence that all point in the same direction. Uh, but since then we figured out that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. Great. Do we know what that rate is, uh, or is it changing over time? Is it that, that's actually it? that's actually the big question right now, because we we just basically it's been 20 years, but we don't know what is causing this accelerated expansion. And the big question now is, has this been constant? This accelerated expansion has it been constant throughout the history of the universe? Is it getting faster? Is it slowing down? We honestly don't know. We don't have enough data to make that call yet. So the next generation of telescopes that are going up, especially after James Webb Space Telescope, comes W first, the Wide Field Infrared Spectrographic Telescope, W first. I think I got it right. And I think you mentioned Edwin Hubble, uh, a very famous astronomer, mm -hmm. uh, discovered the, uh, the Hubble constant. Yes. Right. Um, and the Hubble Space Telescope is named after him. Exactly. And then James Webb is its successor in infrared telescope, a giant uh, uh, behemoth of a space <laughs> right. telescope um, that will, uh, NASA will launch in 2018 exactly. uh, to study the as, as far back as they can and hopefully... Yeah, yeah. So, so James Webb is going to study uh, stars being born. It's going to study the first stars in the first galaxies ever to appear in the universe 13 and a half billion years ago. Uh, major observatory, definitely... Uh, can claim to be the successor to the Hubble in terms of scientific output. And then the space mission following that is going to be targeted to W these, first, you mentioned. W first. It's going to be targeted to these cosmological questions like what is dark energy? And it's going to be targeted to finding exoplanets uh, using microlensing. It's, it's, it's actually a very broad uh, survey telescope, a very powerful instrument.